Hello YouTubers, my name is X-Factor, and what do you typically think of when you see that logo, Origin, or any product that's associated with it? It's usually not the most positive things in the world, right? A lot of negativity, a lot of issues. But they are drastically trying to shake up the way we as consumers and gamers think about their distribution product from the ground up. What if I told you that Origin is actually backing the software titles that they're releasing, and this is a global effort that will be completely rolled out by September? What does this mean exactly? Well, who's heard of buyer's remorse? How many times have you bought a software title and you're all hyped up about it because you saw some multiplay teaser trailers or some single player footage or cutscenes? You're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the best game in the world. Then you get the game and it doesn't fit your play style or for whatever reason, you don't love it. Most of the time we get sucked in by these games and they are what they're billed as. Amazing. But what if it wasn't? Typically, you're stuck with that title. Or let's paint another scenario. You buy a PC game through Origin, and all of a sudden you just realize once you install it and try to play it that you can't. Your hardware isn't good enough or isn't up to date. Your video card, your CPU might not be enough. What usually happens? You're typically stuck with that title. And some of these titles are $20, $30, $50, $60 dollars and really hit the wallet hard. What if I told you that Origin will give you a refund? So how exactly will this process work? Well, let's go over the three ways to qualify for this. You may return EA full game downloads, PC or Mac, purchased on Origin for a full refund if it's within 24 hours after you first launch the game. So let's say I start gaming Monday at 2 p.m. I have until Tuesday at 2 p.m. to start the process. Or it's within seven days from when you purchased it. So let's say I purchased a copy, don't play it right away. I have a full week to return it as long as I don't play it or if it's within the first seven days after the game's release date if you pre-order it but here's the catch whichever of these conditions happen first so it's typically going to be within 24 hours after you first launch the game as long as it's within the first seven days or a pre-order being released or a purchase so you've got seven days if you don't play it you've got 24 hours within those seven days if you start playing it so my question for you guys, the community, is how will this affect your decisions when you're going to purchase software? I'll tell you this much, it'll give me a lot more confidence, and that's based on my own gaming history with a couple titles I picked up from Origin. SimCity, I used to feature it on my channel, and it's no secret, the game did not work for the first 24 hours. You could not get into servers if you tried, not to mention a ton of game-breaking bugs and crashes. If this service existed back then, I definitely would have cashed in and gotten a refund within 24 hours. How about another controversial title resulting in a developer closing its doors named Medal of Honor Warfighter? A ton of hype before this game came out. I bought into it, pre-ordered it, and didn't live up to my playstyle type or my liking. That's another game I probably would have cashed in with this service. But guess what? With the bad comes good. I probably would have spent that same money on other titles that I probably would have been sucked into. And there's some massive titles coming out in Origin, including Titanfall, which will be a spring release for PC, as well as one of the consoles, I believe, Xbox out there. So what are your guys' thoughts on this? How will this change how you guys purchase video games and your confidence behind that product that you might be researching to buy? And the last thing is the Humble Bundle that most of you guys already know about. What's that? Where you can pick up eight games such as Mirror's Edge, Dead Space 2, Medal of Honor from 2010, Crisis 2, Dead Space, the original, Paradise Ultimate, Battlefield 3, and the Sims Starter Pack for as little as $5. They've sold 1.5 million copies to this moment and there's literally 8 days and 10 hours left on this sale. If you didn't know about this, I'm going to give you the link down below. The best part about it, most of the money goes to charities. And you get to pick what percentage of the split about five different charities get, along with giving the developer a little bit of money, of course, as well. You name your price. As long as it's $5 or over, you get to pick up a copy of Battlefield 3. And that's why we're seeing so many new players within our community. It's insane the amount of low levels. Welcome them with open arms. Help grow our community in anticipation for Battlefield 4. So what do you guys think? Is your perception of origin changing? I know mine is because they've done two things that I never thought they would do. Don't forget to check out the links down below. If you guys kind of enjoyed this little Metro highlights footage as we get pushed back and respond, don't forget to thumbs up and we'll see you soon, YouTubers.